What's up, y'all? It's your boy Vanilla here with Scabs. We are at Grand Finals of All Stars. Uh, briefly explain this event. Pretty much everyone goes in with three characters, and they have to uh, pick those characters. Once they play them in one game, they cannot use them again for that entire set. So, uh, is this best of five then? Or no, just, this is still best of three. I was gonna three. say that's gonna be kind of wacky. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. But yeah, this is gonna be an interesting set be between these two players because Isaac, as we all used to know. Basically right in the random one. So yep. he's got a deep roster of characters. He's got his old main corn, Diddy, which he messed with quite a bit, and then the all-star Bayo. Yep. I mean, but Osiris is no slouch here with both Sheik and Falco looking crisp. And oh, Bayo no, no, that's Fox. He's going Fox. Oh, really? He's, he's Sheik, Fox, Bayo. Damn. Yep. Shame. Well, his Fox is still pretty nice. Damn. Yeah. So uh, we're going to see this game once Smashville, Diddy, and Sheik. Uh, kind of surprised that he's exhausting the Sheik, which I think is the best of his three. Yeah, uh, Pretty much right off the bat. But, you know, I mean, if he can take this out and collect something out with, like, say, Fox Corn or, uh, you know, just Bayo shenanigans in general, maybe he's opting to try and win the Bayo Ditto. Who knows? Yeah, I, I think that what his general idea is that he, is he wants to get game one and then force Ice Egg onto Bayo with his worst character. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I... I because, I mean, I Isaac's scoring yeah. has been a bit rusty today, so I okay. don't know if Isaac actually wants to, you know, go immediately to a uh, to his best character game, too, but he might be forced to do it if he doesn't pick this slack up. Yeah. I mean, Diddy Kong is basically all about winning neutral, but he has not won a single exchange that we've been seeing here. Osiris mm -hmm. has been dominating with these, like, weak hit nares, needles, Ooh, dash there we attacks. Go. I mean, Isaac can not land. Can't get back to the stage. Yeah, I think he tried to start side B before his momentum was completely canceled. Yeah. Because he had basically stopped. Yeah, he definitely did. Oh, trip. All right, a couple bread and butter conversions, but those just don't work in Sheik. Ice Eggs did he, well, he certainly has, like, the tech skill. I don't think he's used to, like, he doesn't have the matchup knowledge, I don't think. He keeps going for these down tilt conversions that don't work on fast ballers. He's yeah. He's jabbing out of it, and he's just not getting everything he could be out of this. And right now, he's There's a single hit. That's, that's how you want to do it. Ooh. Almost killing. If he had a little bit of rage there. Maybe. Right now, 50% though, I mean. He's just, uh, he's getting a little bit desperate with these, like, dash, a couple dash grabs that are whiffed. Oh, but good trade there. So 90%, I mean, Diddy with rage isn't, you don't think of Diddy as one of those rage monsters, but he's certainly a character that if he wins neutral, like, three or four times, he can threaten to kill with those, with uh, the hoo-ha. Ooh, almost getting that banana up smash conversion. I don't know if that was exactly the best move. Maybe he could have done banana F smash. Or banana grab into throw combos. Yeah. But even so, with a percent lead like this, I think he has a little bit more play around room. Yeah, for sure. Um, and definitely even with the set that... Uh, oh, that'll kill. Yep. Nice back air. All right, so I think we're in a spot where... Does, is there a bracket reset here or no? Uh, yes. I mean, if he manages to win, he'll get a bracket reset, and All that, right. of course, will... So if that's the case, then I'm, I don't think that Ice Egg's forced to go Bayo here. He might have... Yeah, he might decide that he wants to end it right now, but... Yeah, Bayo versus Fox, this is probably Osiris's worst character? I don't know. Fox is relatively new uh, for him. He's, he, he messed around with it a little bit before going Sheik. Well, but, all right, if I think out of the three, his worst is probably Bayo. I mean, but it's Bayo, though. But it's Bayo, right. So it's kind of hard to say what's going to be the worst. But, I mean, we're talking Bayo-Fox now. Yeah. This is a matchup that Osiris himself thinks is not as bad as most people would typically paint it out to be. He's in the mindset that it's probably 55-45 Bayo favor. But, I mean, some, some Foxes will tell you this is like 90-10. Uh, just mostly because of that fair strength shenanigans that we watched. Like exactly this. this. But look, he's making... No, nope, he was right. too low. Shit. Fastballers, dude. So uh, yeah, this this may not be 90-10, but I don't know if this is 55-45. 80-20. Uh. <laughs> Fox can definitely win neutral when he's on stage, but if Bayo ever gets a single hand on you, be prepared to go off stage with that stupid fair string. No, it, see, it's 80-20, because he had an 80% chance of dying with that string, and Bayo's only at 20. Yeah, that, that, that makes a lot of sense. And what's Isaac going to make of this? Just a couple up tilts. Yeah, that neutral air is going to be hell getting back. Oh my god, down tilt picks up illusion? Down, yep, up smash, gone. I, that is I, absolutely going to be a dominant game, too. But here's the thing. The trump card, the tried and true Bayo, is now off the table. We are looking at a Corrin versus uh, Bayo. And oh, oh, wait, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I mean, I've, a few Bayo players, Tweak in particular, thinks the Corrin is either 55-45-4, like beating Bayo, yeah. or it's 50-50. No, I, I'm, I'm totally in the mindset that uh, I can see Corrin being Bayo. I mean, I think... If it's not like the range of the pin, it's like it's just the utility of things like Dragon Fang Shot and just like the, the swiftness of the sword and the distance. It, I don't know. It, it matters a lot. 
Like, yeah, Bayo can, I mean, Bayo gets beat at mid-range by Korn 100%, but Korn has an exploitable recovery, and Bayo is the best at exploiting recoveries, and you, you also can just camp. You can camp this character. Well, that's I, that's why I think it's not like a curb stomp. Yeah. It's either even, or I, I could see it being Korn's favor, but right now, Ice Egg's definitely painting the picture to make it look that way. Yeah, um, I guess that I said that Korn, Korn was a bit rusty, but man, he looks warmed up right now. Might have, might have just been that he needed a couple games in him first. Uh-oh, what are we going to see here? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, wait, hold on. The reset. Okay, we got some damage. Yeah, pretty good Watch SDI out, how are you going right to land, there. though? That's the problem. That's death. This is the problem. This ROC is, lag, yeah. Yeah. Punishing the ROC lag with a bite, Ice Egg was able to go ahead and punish the tires for not reaching that edge. It was so close, too. So Ice Egg on his last, the last stock he needs to pick up. Osiris really has to go ahead and do some work here. And I'm liking the way Ice Egg is approaching this. He's just kind of standing there. Yep. He doesn't want to go ahead and hit buttons in Bayo's face. A lot of times Korns like to go ahead and toss out neutral airs, toss out safe pins, stuff like that. Nothing is safe against Bayo. So he's playing the matchup, I think, correctly. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Cyrus has learned. He went right to the edge after that, uh, after that special string. Uh-oh. Nope, not nope. quite for up smash. Not even able to get a back air out of it. Only the last little part of Witch Twist. He's got to really find a way to convert this next stock. Yeah, he's got to take the stock away real quick because I don't see him making a huge comeback here. Isaac just playing too solid. Side B up air? No. Nope. Oh, SDI okay. down and away. Smart. It's almost like Isaac knows what he's doing. It's almost like he's played Bayonetta before. Oh, oh my gosh. That neutral air clanked with a projectile? I've never seen that before. bayo has got strong legs. Ooh, baiting out the air dodge too. Thick, sexy gam is trading with everything. <laughs> now, <t> <laughs> uh -oh. Osiris is definitely, he's one of those Bayos that loves tossing out just back air, back air, back air. Oh, I mean, he gets it from Falco. Yeah, exactly. Uh oh, All right, he'll slide. Going for the neutral air rather than the up tilt to Ooh, pick it up. I really like that. I really like waiting for that uh, air dodge. Ooh, that was actually dead. Oh. Yeah, he took his jump and then got stuck in air dodge when he failed the tech. That okay. was so unfortunate by Isaac. Uh, we are going to see a bracket reset then. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's the problem is that, yeah, Isaac was dominating that entire string in neutral, but the second he gets off stage, a couple just missed exchanges and get down. Now, here's the interesting thing. Isaac is not forced to start Diddy, nor is Osiris forced to start Sheik. So they can kind of mix up, like, their play based around that first set, too. Exactly. So now we're just going to see the blind pick. Yep. If I was if I was these guys, I wouldn't be. If I don't, I don't do not agree with Osiris keeping um, keeping Bayo as these anchor. I would I would think in this kind of a format where it's best of three, it's actually better to you know leave your anchor for your third best or second best character and toss out your weakest one first. Yeah. That way you can get the character matchups you want for the next two. So we are going to start Fox versus Diddy. I say deciding the I guess kind of do exactly what you're saying. Toss out your weakest character and hope for the best. But uh, even in a situation like. Uh, I'm trying to think here. So, oh, now I see what's going on. Should Ice Egg uh, opt to go Bayo next game, Osiris can go Sheik. Yep. Okay. Exactly. Or go, so now or go to the Bayo Ditto and then have Sheik Corin. Yeah. So what's going to happen ne next game is that is if Ice Egg loses this, he can go Bayo and then Osiris is forced to go ahead and pull out Sheik. Yeah. And then. Well, so keep in mind too, it's the it's the winner who picks first. Oh, certainly. Yeah. 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 So so if Ice Egg loses this. Uh, Ooh, Ooh, that was sexy, hello? Osiris, with a weak hit in there on reset. Wow. Um, hey, see if you can do that, Tim. Up tilt strings on Diddy aren't 100% at 0%, but he actually was able to convert that into a jab fairly easily. Diddy can escape these combos so easily, though. His, his frame data in the air is absurd. So you got to keep things true for Osiris. Yeah. And I don't think that's really a problem for Fox. I mean, up yeah. tilt, up air, wait for the air dodge. Oh, he could have gotten that up air, but a little late on it. Yeah, Diddy can just be a little bit more aggressive getting out of these combos with, like, falling up air or down air, even. Ooh, Ooh he's trying, trying to hit him with the, the snow. snow. <laughs> Uh, R.I.P. Snow. That man was fun to watch. He was. He was. Uh-oh. Jesus, these pivots. Osiris definitely has the movement down for Fox. Yeah, absolutely. He's really good at just kind of like weaving in and out of your space and just kind of making you feel uncomfortable being anywhere. But I mean, Diddy's going to feel pretty uncomfortable off stage. That's not where monkeys belong. Right? Uh, so we're going to see that game one go to Osiris. So, um, so at this point, if I was Osiris, I would go ahead and not... It depends if you want if he's confident in winning two games in a row, because I you can toss out Bayo here, you can toss out your your like sketchy character and go to the Bayo Ditto, 
or you can toss well, out your strongest he's going, character he's the and yep. force Bayo. So now what he's basically saying is that he thinks that his Bayonetta can be Corrin again, because this is going to be a toss-up. Uh, Isaac has won the last one at last night's grind. He was able to basically, I don't want to say cheese out, but he was able to lean on the Bayo strategy of He got which, which time? time to up smash and it killed Sheik at 50%. Exactly. I don't like... I don't want to call it cheesing out, I want to say relying on Bayonetta's strengths. Relying on Bayonetta's strengths and her unique gameplay strategies. Exactly. So even uh, if Osiris loses this, if by putting Sheik first, he's basically saying, I don't care what's going to happen, I think I can beat your core with Bayo again. 100%. Here we go. Nope. Wow, I thought okay. he almost died. I, that, that was actually dead. He missed up the, uh, the, the triple jump tech. So yeah. he ended up bouncing off the stage with that side. Yeah, that was really smart by saying that's something that like a, an average Bayo player would suicide there, 100%. Oh, oh trying, to get, trying to step on that one. My God, calm yourself. Calm yourself, I say. Right. Bread and butter sheet combos, great conversion there, taking entire stage control. I do kind of like the battlefield pick here. Bayo at center stage and battlefield, it's just so hard to land on. Even with Sheik, who has actually fairly decent landing options. Yeah, definitely agree. Oh no, are we gonna see? No, nope. all right. No, he was able to get out of that. Just a lot of damage. But then again, this is hopefully gonna make uh, for Osiris's case. Hopefully, gonna make it a little bit easier for him to kill. Now that he's got this rage. I think it would probably never mind. Yeah, I mean, it turns out if you just go ahead and hit buttons on someone's shield, this bayonetta, there's not much they can do. <laughs> no, you're damn right. But uh, I was gonna say too. Um, I feel like at high percent too, you know, like we've seen Osiris do a good job at SDIing out of a lot of the combos, and the high percent really are only going to make that easier. But he's actually really doing a good job at not being uh, getting a place to get hit by these up tilts. Yeah, like we've, we've been seeing Isaac go for these up tilts after down tilt, and every time Osiris is like SDIing away from that. But tech situation on the top platform get carried up, but no, I think he messed up his triple jump again. Ooh, dreadful! Getting <laughs> out of that grab with the spot dodge just by like a couple of frames, Isaac. Uh, yeah, really just kind of like moving around him this time, not really letting him get hit by too many things. I mean, a straight hit here and there, but no huge combos like what we were seeing in, uh, you know, the Sheik Diddy, for example. Exactly, yeah. Uh -oh. I think gotten his like bread and butter convergence, but nothing at high percentages. Oh, he was going for the witch time. Notice how Osiris backed off on that bouncing fish after the grab. He really did not yeah. want to get Witch Time. He knows what's about to happen. So Osiris basically, the way Witch Time works is that basically it's on a charge system. I believe it's 15 seconds in between Witch Times. So mark it down, 350 now. So he's got until 335 to go ahead and have to worry about that again. But uh, and ended before that. Yeah. Um, so it, it's not quite as like, cut and dry in that. It's like the more you use it, um, Every time you use it, like it gets worse and worse and worse, and exactly. it, does, it does. I think it, I think you're right. I'm pretty sure it is 15 seconds every recharge, but it's like you know, if it recharged like eight, if it had to recharge exactly, like eight times, yeah. you know, it's still gonna be shit. But uh, we're gonna see Corin Bayo again, um, same matchup that we saw last time on FD, and it was not looking good for Osiris there. So maybe a stage switch is uh, probably in the best. Never mind. All right. Yeah, that's kind of strange because I mean. Typically, you want to have platforms. Actually, no, this this makes sense. Typically, you want to have platforms as corns. So what was the ban? Town and city, maybe? I'm not totally sure, but I feel as though Battlefield would have been the best stage that Osiris could have picked. Well, I mean, corn on Battlefield is nasty, though. I mean, with, I, those, with those pin convert. I'm curious more to what... Yeah, we just watched Bayo on Battlefield. Yeah, I know. But I mean, I'm curious more as to what Isaac banned to leave this stage open. Yeah, I'd be curious to know that, too. But uh, right now, we're keeping it pretty even. Uh, not seeing like the dominance that we were seeing in the beginning of Game 3 of the last set, where I say... If he held that yeah. bite down, he, that was a stock. Yeah. He baited out the Witch Time, just decided not to go for the bite. Ooh, that time we're going to see the Quick Bite, even though he got the Paralyzer. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but... Yeah, that I think was that was intentional. One. That wouldn't have been a good conversion. Like, he wouldn't have been able to actually convert off of that. He was an uncharged Paralyzer. Yeah. I think doing a great job getting out of that. Both of these players have been pretty good at getting out of AO combos. We haven't really seen like a zero to death conversion off the off the top. We've only seen that one jank with Fox. All right, a couple back airs. Uh oh. Which time it? But yeah, it hits ledge. Unfortunately, you can't really do anything about that. I'm just sitting there in which time and invulnerable. Ooh. Yeah, back air to catch these. Standard get up. Clean foot. Exactly. Now we can play a little bit more of a runaway Bayo. 
but let's see. It looks like Osara has absolutely no intention of running away. <laughs> it seems like he's going to keep this pressure up. Ton of ROC lag goes right to the edge. I'd like to see um, Ice Egg try to punish that. Corrin has good tools to punish, uh, like attempts to like drift down to the edge with that like pin from almost mid stage. Here we go. Hold on. Oh, up air. Yeah, That's him. gonna be it. And with a, a two, two stock. Stuff. Yeah, Osiris taking that. Uh, Osiris taking the all stars. Good for him. With the run back, and it's like you said, I, he seemed to think that he was confident enough to have Bayo run against Corrin no matter what. Yeah, and you know, I guess he's out here to prove it. I mean, the first game, I really feel like he kind of uh, he got away with at the end with that gimp, but second game, he really proved it, showed up, and uh, did that matchup on what I think was a pretty shitty stage a lot better. Mm -hmm.